Alright, first off, call Halal Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Akakodash, Brak Te Yahweh, Brak Te Yahushai, Brak Te Yahweh, Brak Te Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Most Holy and salutation to the Akim pushing this word in all sincerity and now truth. You know, this is Barak Abash coming at you with another lesson that is hopefully edifying to the spirit. You know, this lesson is going to be entitled Food Crisis Grips Jamaican Homes. You know, and right around the world right now, you know, there are um, many reports, you know, of, of food crises, you know, hitting different countries. You know, um, major, you know, um, global organizations, you know, such as um, the um, the UN, you know, as well as um, the, the, the World Bank, the, um, the Inter-American Development Bank, the IMF, all these different um, international bodies you know have warned of a growing you know food crisis which we know they are engineering you know but through the spirit of the lord we know that famine you know is one of the prophecies you know um that will come to pass in these last days again as it has you know in um in numerous times of trouble throughout human history you know but you know according to the scriptures you know this is going to be a worse famine you know the times that are coming you know the times of jacob's trouble written off in um daniel chapter 12 and jeremiah chapter 30 you know will be more difficult than any other time that uh, that ever existed on the planet you know and during famines before people ate each other you know women ate their young you know and this is going to be worse than that yo you know so know the reality of that you know is starting to hit home here in in, in jamaica you know um so i'm just gonna read through a couple of articles you know and hopefully this again this lesson is edifying so the first article is from the jamaica gleaner and its title is food crisis grips jamaica report finds and it was published wednesday april 27 2022 the year the lord turning up so that was yesterday and it says i shop for food now, this is a quote from one of the persons that were interviewed i shop for food far less <coughs> <coughs> I shop for food far less. I can't buy fruits for my kids and that hurts. My kids are hungry most of the time. Can't afford gas and electricity bills. Sometimes we sleep in darkness. For the first time in my life, I have to be living like this. Right? That was the response of a 43-year-old Jamaican who participated in the World Food Program survey which was administered in January and February representing 6,000 households across 22 countries and territories. It says four in every 10 Jamaicans have reduced their food consumption and some 98% of Jamaicans who participated in the survey <coughs> said there has been an increase in food prices. Right? And, and that's obvious. You don't have to survey people to find that out. You know, As a result, 9 in 10 Jamaicans surveyed have changed their shopping behavior. Right? Almost two years after the onset of the of the C nineteen pandemic and economic repercussions continue to take toll on livelihoods, income, food security, and the Caribbean. Right? I know according to them, the um the, the conflict over there in Ukraine is also putting, you know, a toll on um on, on food security in the world. Because Russia and, and Ukraine, you know, are major exporters of, of wheat. You know, Russia is a major exporter of um of fertilizer especially um fertilizer ingredients you know one of the main ingredients of fertilizers I believe it's ammonium nitrate is made by russia russia is one of the um if not the most uh, um leading you know exporter of that that um that chemical so <coughs> if the fertilizer is more expensive the crops are going to be more expensive you know so that that translates to, to your supermarket bill being higher you know but i wanted to go back you know, to what this person said, you know, that her kids are hungry most of the time. She can't afford electricity and, 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 and gas, you know. This is a stark reality that's come that's going to come to every one of you, yo. Every one of you, especially you women who are, who are so proud right now, you know. Right now, the ones who are very proud, you know, the ones who are, who are up in, in, um, in, in upper class society, the, the, the famines haven't reached you yet. But trust me, it's, it's going to come. It's going to start with, with those who are most vulnerable financially, you know, um, those in the inner city, 
you know, those in the garrisons in the ghetto. It's gonna it's gonna affect them first, those who live day to day. But pretty soon it's gonna go to cherry gardens and the and the other upscale communities. Right? This this farming is gonna grip everybody yo. Right? So this article is from the separate group CEO. Right? So it's from National News Network or Nationwide News Network, I believe it's called. Right? I, I, another Jamaican um, news source. <coughs> so it says separate group CEO, which is um, one of the main, uh, major food manufacturers here in Jamaica. Separate group. Separate group CEO urging Jamaicans to treat surging food prices as an urgent crisis. Right? This was published the 22nd of April, so it's a few days ago. It says, CEO of the separate group of companies, Richard Pando, is urging the country to treat surging food prices as an urgent crisis. Speaking with Nationwide News, Mr. Pando says, it should be used as an opportunity to ramp up investment in local alternatives as imports become exceedingly costly. And right now, the, the majority of what Jamaica consumes is imported. The majority of what Jamaica consumes is imported, right? So he thinks that the best way to go is to reduce our dependency on imports. This famine is going to affect everybody. Yo. And the powers that be will not stand for, uh, for, 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 for self-sufficient nations. There's no self-sufficient nation right now. Every nation depends on another nation for something else, right? And Jamaica is not a producer, right? So, he, say, he says, this is an emergency, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, man. Yeah. All right, he said, this is an emergency, right? He said, the separate CEO says, Jamaican food situation is not one that can be simply managed, but must be tackled head on, right? So, he's in the food manufacturing industry, so he sees it coming afar off, right? Just like we've been telling you in the prophecies, yo. Right, the Lord has been telling you in the prophecies that this famine is coming, and because he's in the food manufacturing business, right, he has to deal with the imports and all of the other intricacies of manufacturing food on a large scale. He sees the problem coming. <coughs> right? It says leading multinationals, multinational, multilateral salakia, such as the IMF, the World Bank have all warned of a looming food crisis. Yeah. One of the time they, they use the term of biblical proportions. <laughs> right? It says the effects of this is already being felt with rising inflation resulting in skyrocketing um, prices. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has already noted that an over 30% rise in global commodity prices compared to this time last year. 30% is a big jump. That's a big jump in food prices, yo. Right? So, we just want to get, you know, a few precepts now, you know, to, to show how this ties up. You know, with, with um, with with prophecy and with the scriptures, you know, because Jake Jake believes that the scriptures are separated from reality, you know, and, and there's no way that you know the scriptures can add benefit or value to their lives, to their daily lives, you know, because Jake only believes in the Bible when he goes to church on a Sunday or or for or for New Year's Eve or for um, you know, Easter weekend, which which is just celebrated recently, but they don't believe that you know the scripture informs reality. But let's get it. This is 2nd Ezra 6 verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. What, what does this mean? This means that your warehouses that store food, your containers that store food, you know, they're going to suddenly be found empty. Right now in Ukraine, they can't sow as much crops, right, as they, as they would like, you know, for them to weep, for reap uh, uh, um, in, in harvest season. You know. So you know what that means? the yield for next year is going to be significantly less. Right? So that means that this food crisis is going to continue into next year and worsen into next year. Right? This collapse is intentional, yo. Right? It's all a part of this great reset, blaming the, the, the current systems for their inefficiency, you know, and their unsustainability. Right? And a lot of people are going to, are going to you know, die of famine. Right? This, this thing is going to get out of their hands because it, it's, it's all prophesied in the scriptures which you go and read it says the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man hear it they shall suddenly be afraid right now in in, in um in supermarkets across europe the united states there are a bunch of empty shelves yo there are a bunch of empty shelves 
you can't get certain things that you usually get at the supermarket because of scarcity. You know? You see, and at that time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies. Why? Why will they fight one another like enemies? Because there will be no food. Is there going to be no food? Right? And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein, and the springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all these things that I have told you shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. So this that's coming, as apocalyptic as it might sound, is the end of the world and the beginning of that which is to come. Right? Yahushai and, and his salvation will be coming for the elect of the nation of Israel and to establish the kingdom of, of Israel. Right? Let's get on our precept. This is um This is Ezekiel chapter 5 and verse 16. It says, When I shall send upon you the evil arrows of famine, so it's the Lord that's sending this. And that's that has to be clear. Right? That has to be clear. That Yahweh Shem Yahushai, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is the source of the famine that's coming, you know. And all the troubles that come that's coming, the destruction that's coming, you know, the Lord is the source of all of it, yo. Know? Right, the Lord through the angels are working on the minds of men, you know, to fulfill his prophecies. Right, this has to be known so that the Lord will be glorified as the, as the, uh, as the, 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 the mover of all things. Right, it says, when I send upon you the evil hour of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which, shall destroy, which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine um, upon you, I will break your staff of bread. That's what's coming. Hey, and, and even now, that people are seeing these things happen, and we, we preach these things and we prophesy these things, mm. they still think this thing is, is impossible. Right? They still think a famine is, is unlikely. Well, give it some time. Right? Give it some time. Right? This is um, it's another one I had. Ezekiel. Yeah. This is um, Lamentations chapter 5, verse, 19, verse 9. It says, We got we got our bread with the peril of our lives because the so because of the sword of the wilderness. We got our bread with the peril of our lives. So it's gonna be a time, right, during the time of Jacob's trouble, when you're gonna have to be going on scavenger hunts hunts to get food. Right? Like you know, like in those those apocalyptic movies like uh, um I Am Legend and Bird Box and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. That's what it's going to be like. You know, it's, there's going to be uh, uh, um, looting. You know, there's, there's going to be gangs marauding around, you know, at first. You know, trying to um, scrounge up food, you know, before ultimately everybody's on their own. You know, when hunger drives them mad. But yeah, you're going to get your food, right, with the peril of your lives, yo. There was another precept in, um, in Ezekiel that I believe I lost. Let me see if I can get it back, you know. Uh, just give me a second here. You know, pretty much speaks about um eating your. Ah, I know where it is. Staff of bread, right? Pretty much eating your um your your, your meals carefully. You know, this is uh, 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 uh. ah here we go. Ezekiel four and sixteen. It's a son of man. Moreover. So like he said, moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. Which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So this is talking about Israel and the whole world, pretty much. <coughs> and they shall eat bread by weight and with care. And they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. That's what's happening now. The article that we read, right? The article that we read, let me, let me go back for the quote. He said what? I shop for food far less. I can't buy fruits for my kids and that hurts. My kids are hungry most of the time, can't afford gas and electricity bills. Sometimes we sleep in darkness. Right? And it says what? It says, um, it goes down to say, as a result, nine in ten in every ten Jamaicans surveyed have changed their shopping habits. Right? Why? Because the food is less. Right, because of the prophecies, and uh, yeah, you haven't seen anything yet, yo. This is just the beginning, right? Let me read it again. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, they shall eat their bread by weight, right, and with care, 
right? Meaning you're, you're rationing. This is talking about rationing, right? This is talking about rationing. And when, when the food crisis gets so severe, right, the, the, the government will institute their own version of rationing, you the supermarkets will tell you that hey, you can't buy more and more than a certain amount of, of, of tin food or or rice or flour or whatever it is, right? It's gonna be rationing you before this whole thing uh, um kicks off the, the real way. It's gonna be rationing, right? This is what we're reading. I will care and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another and consume away with their iniquities. Right, let's get another precept. Right, this is Lamentations chapter 1 and verse 11. All her people sigh. They seek bread. They have given their pleasant things for meat to relieve the soul. See, O Lord, and consider, for I am become vile. You see what this is saying? They have given their pleasant things for meat. Right? Those things that you consider dear uh, to you, your Jordans, you know, your car, different worldly possessions that you have that you 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 see as um as important, you know your Xbox, your your PS5, whatever it is, whatever possessions you have, you're gonna give it up, right? In hopes that you can exchange it for food because this money is gonna this money is gonna collapse. We know this, you know the scriptures talk about it, right? So this is what the scripture said: all her people sigh, they seek bread. They have given their pleasant things for meat. You're going to give up your pleasant things that you are pleasuring to get food. Your iPhone that you, you pray so much that you people put yourself in debt to buy. In expensive cars that you put yourself in debt to buy. You know, all these different things. Right? You're going to give up in order to get some food. We're going to wrap here Lamentations 4 verse 9. They that be slain with a sword... Are better that day that than day that be slain with hunger. Why? For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of my people. Let's look up that word sodden, right? To just you know, be clear what that means. So the word here, right, is bashal, right, and it means to boil, to cook, to bake. To roast right so this is saying that women boiled cooked roasted their own children to eat right this is what's coming right this is what's coming so call give me the spirit to this lesson hopefully it was edifying till next time shalom